Channel 4 reality series The Jump has been called the most dangerous show on TV, with victim after victim among the hapless celebrity contestants getting carted off to casualty, the department, not the series. But there's a new contender in town, and it's in just as cold a setting. Dancing on Ice bosses nearly lost one of its star competitors before the show has even begun. Love Island winner Kem Setne smashed his head during training for the rebooted ITV program. It confirmed the view that he's a lover, not a skater, and he had to be looked over by medics following his bad fall. Thankfully, no hospital treatment was needed. I am in an exclusive interview, Cam confirmed, I have had quite a few falls in training, I fell on the ice and cracked my head which was pretty scary, but luckily I was checked and all okay. I was really down the first month because I was so behind everyone else. My trainer said I was the least natural out of everyone on the show this year. All the other contestants have been coming down and watching me and saying they are better than me too. But in the last week, I feel I have turned a corner because I have had the training penguin taken away from me and put in the staff room. Despite his close shave, Cam claims he is more flexible than ever after signing up to the skating series alongside the likes of Candace Brown, Jay Quick Enden and Brooke Vincent. He added, skating is keeping me fit and I thought, I am going to have to stop going to the gym as I'm skating for about 3 or 4 hours a day. But it has really kept me in shape and it's keeping the pounds off. As well as trying on the show's sparkly leotards, Cam also confessed he's particularly excited about meeting his childhood heroes, Jane Torville and Christopher Dean. He said, I haven't met Torville and Dean, but I am very excited about them because they are absolute legends and I was a big fan of theirs growing up. They'll be picking Cam off the ice if he keeps struggling to stay upright. An OT everyone was upset by Bake Off Judge Pru Leith revealing the hit series as winner early. Pru was in Bhutan when she tweeted her congrats to Sophie Faldo hours before the finals UK airing. And now she has said the country's premier, Shireen Tobga, called her after the gaffe to express his delight as she had raised the country's profile. She said, it was flattering as I have never had a prime minister ring me before. He was rather pleased. It was good for tourism I think. Prue described the panic of realizing what she'd done when it was brought to her attention by a production crew member. She said, they tweeted me saying, eek.it's tonight. Delete, delete. It read to delete it, and I was in such a panic I could not work my phone. I called not dot so I rang my secretary and she said, don't worry I have already done it 89 seconds afterwards, but of course it was too late. I still feel mortified by it. Paul and C4 staff were very understanding. Pru admitted, they all emailed me and said, it is the sort of thing I could have done.
don't worry too much. But it was days before I could sleep properly. Being an actor on Coronation Street can be perilous at the best of times, with characters' deaths as commonplace as Betty's famous hot pots. But throw a new show boss into the mix, and suddenly things look even more uncertain. Stars on the cobbles are fearing the worst as they prepare to welcome a replacement for outgoing executive producer Kieran Roberts. He is stepped down next month after 16 years with the show. Dottosaur said, There's both excitement and anxiety among the top cast. There are some high earning stars on Coronation Street, and a new exec producer could mean wholesale changes. Some of them could see their days on the cobbles number. Hopefully, someone with a similar vision to Kieran, who has overseen some of the biggest storylines the soap has had, will come in and there won't be too much upheaval. Kieran nearly quit a year ago, but decided to stay on when Corey announced a sixth weekly episode. He has spent 34 years with ITV and won a BAFTA during his time with Emmerdale. The Corey cast shouldn't worry too much. If they get killed off, there's always a home for them on EastEnders or Emmerdale. In a war, Pong leaves at Simon Cowell's X Factor judge's house in 2009 and could have done with one at the weekend as she flashed a bit too much on the red carpet at the Gay Times Honors party. And Sunita now regrets telling Simon to kiss her black ass for barring her from an advisory role on the show. Talking to me on the Lorraine sofa on Friday, she said, I must admit I was a bit unladylike. 